Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. And today we'll be playing with some hidden features that I don't think Samsung wanted us to find just yet. Now we will be playing with some Samsung Labs features inside of your call or your phone dialer. Now the cool thing about this one is that I was not able to find this right here inside of Samsung One UI 3.0 or 3.1, not even in a part of the brand new phones of the Z Flip and the Z Fold 3. So it's not a part of Samsung One UI 3.1.1. Now we are familiar with Samsung Labs when it comes down to the regular settings where you can play with multi-window for all apps. You also have Galaxy Labs inside of the photo editor, which kind of brings along the ability for you to erase objects, things like that. But inside of the call features and the settings right here, this is the, the portion that is not a part of the other phones and also this is not a part of the regular phone settings which i believe is the reason why i don't know if samsung wanted us to find this just yet and hopefully this will be a part of samsung galaxy labs for the stock settings of samsung phones so how you're able to find this if you download an application that is called activity launcher Inside of Activity Launcher, all I really did on the very top was I just searched for the words labs. So once you put in the word labs, you hit on search, and it's going to take you inside of the screen right here. So we're going to be playing with the, the Galaxy Labs for your phone. So up here is pretty fun. You can actually do a fake setting or a fake call. So basically you can send and also receive fake you know, calls coming into your phone. So really, I just put in the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Now, oddly enough, this is actually a real number. And if you wanted to test this, you can do it with voice or video. Now, the reason why you would want to go through and test with a fake call coming in is maybe you want to play with this on your own time and you don't want to get a hold of someone to have them call you and go back and forth because inside of here, you're able to change a bunch of different settings. So inside of a fake call, let's just place a call. So we will be placing a outgoing call and that is who we're actually fake calling but it's actually not a real call so even though it says that we're a part of a conversation right now uh, there's nobody there on the other end this is just a way for you to view basically your phone settings now let's say you wanted to uh, bring in a incoming call from a fake number so you can see here that this number is now calling in but this is a way that you're able to see what your phone looks like when it goes through these different settings that you can change so you can see here that my my navigation bar on the top the color and this right here may be a different color than what you have and that's because i changed the color in the previous screen inside of settings the other settings that i changed inside of here instead of the default swipe to answer i did the simple tap to answer it's a single tap and it answers the phone for you now that was a part of settings earlier that for some reason was taken away and basically put into this hidden menu here uh, inside of the uh, uh, the galaxy labs portion of you know basically your phone so inside of here this is where you can place and receive different calls uh, if you wanted to you can also switch this from voice. You can do video. So if you want to see a different video thing pop up because you want to see, you know, what that looks like. Uh, so all I'm going to do now is basically just turn this one off for now. Now, right up over here, you can show navigation bar on the incoming screen. You can disable the proximity sensor if you want to, which basically the proximity sensor just means that if you're inside of a phone call, when you place this up to your ear, usually your, your display will turn off, which is usually a good thing to do. So you don't actually hang up with your cheek or something like that. Oh yeah. And if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. And also some of this really cool hidden details and settings in your Samsung phones, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. You can change the call status bar color, which is what I just got done showing you. You saw that it was kind of this lighter color. So how about we move over into this reddish pinkish color looking thing. Uh, let's head right back over inside of a fake call. Let's do an incoming phone call. And so let's say that we were on the home screen. Uh, and if we were to take a look at it, you know, with the navigation bar, you can see it sitting right here. You can also see the color right up there. So if you're in an active phone call, uh, usually this would be a green color for you. So let's say that you were inside of an active phone call. You went back to your home screen 
screen, you're searching around, going through different applications. So you can see here now that it's going to be a different color. But also, too, the main thing is just a single tap. And that makes it super simple. Now, the thing I like about this here is that it gives you the ability to test it all. But when you actually receive a real phone call, uh, basically what's going to happen is all of these settings that you went through in terms of the different color, uh, the whole single tap to answer a phone call, uh, all of that is going to stay with your phone. So for this one, I'm going to turn off the fake call just because we don't need it anymore. I think you guys kind of get the gist of what the purpose is for that one. For this one, I'm going to go with this light blue color. You can also disable Enable the end call screen. You can do a voice record shortcut. So if you wanted to have uh, the shortcut here, so press the volume up and volume down keys quickly in the full screen. So if you're in that full screen of a phone call, you can do a voice record and the shortcut is just by pressing those two on the top. So here's that call accept reject button in action. So this is the single tap. So originally for default, if somebody was to call me right now, you have to swipe to answer. And I'm not really a big fan of that one. I always love the single tap. So you tap it once and you just answered your phone. Same thing if you wanted to decline it, you tap the, the little red call button and it's going to decline. Contact photo call background. So it's going to display a contact photo as a call background. So basically, if my son was to call me, it's going to be his, his contact, his little image, that little photo of him. It's going to show up as my call background. So anybody that you have, uh, you know, an image uh, defaulted to them with their contact, it's going to pop up right here. You also have the simplified caller information, hide buttons during call, call signal strength indicator, automatic response service, simplified call notification and screen share during video call. So some of these is really self-explanatory when it comes down to it. And also too, if you guys are watching this video, you'd be able to copy everything I'm doing here so you can download that activity launcher. Uh, and then this way you can test all of these if you want to. And you're really not going to ruin your phone just by changing some of these. If there if there's something that pops up that you wanna turn back, then all you have to do is just basically turn them right back off and disable them. So again, to kind of show you where you can get this application, it's called Activity Launcher. So all you have to do is just go right inside of the Play Store on the very top, you'll search for Activity Launcher. So as you're searching for Activity Launcher, it may show up on the very top. It's gonna to be this application here with that icon right there. Uh, and then once you open this up, again on the very top, just search for the word Labs. And there's a few other things you can also play with as well, but this is really all I wanna cover in today's video. So this is where you go to Labs. This is where you can do fake call, just so you can take a look at your settings, make sure it's all good and ready to go. And then here's rest of the settings you can do. And then this way, when your phone is just regularly working on a normal everyday basis, you can change your call settings bar, uh, that little pop-up that also shows up there as well. You can change the single tap, which is really the most important. And then probably also contact photo call in, uh, background is also actually very, very, very cool. So it's a nice way that you can do a fake call out, do a fake call in, so you can make sure that all those settings that you selected is the way that you want it to look. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.